guys. So Carmen has went onto Facebook and made some posts that people felt were a bit questionable. So she first says, this generation isn't built on loyalty. It's built on attention. And then she says, too much sneaky ish be going on. Now, after that, people automatically started assuming that Carmen was speaking on her relationship with Corey. So someone says, what he do now, sis? And Carmen responds with, why I always got to be talking about Corey? Damn. Now, here's the thing about this. Now, of course, when you're speaking on loyalty or you're speaking on sneaky-ish, people are probably going to think that you are talking about Corey. Now, after everyone in the comments was asking, like, what did Corey do now? Oh, this is definitely about Corey. Carmen then deleted the whole post. So she stated she wasn't talking about Corey, but of course, the post may insinuate that she was. But anyways, I want to know your opinions on this down in the comment section below, because after Carmen put those tweets up, Corey then comes back and says, bad terms or not, never give his cat away. So, okay, like, are you guys on bad terms now? Or you're not. I mean, you both are kind of posting things, insinuating that you are. But again, they're denying it. So what do you guys think about that down in the comment section below? Do you feel like Corey and Carmen were speaking on each other in those posts? Or do you feel like maybe Carmen was just speaking in general? Now let's get on to this next topic with Jazz and Crystal. So let me give a little backstory on this. I'm not sure if you guys have been keeping up with what's been going on with little baby Saweetie Cuevo and baby's ex-girlfriend Jada because supposedly little baby and Saweetie are dating. If you guys didn't know, Saweetie and Quavo were dating in the past. Now Quavo has came out and says, ain't tripping, we can swap it out. Meaning he can now start dating Jada and they can like swap girlfriends or ex-girlfriends or whatever. So now Jazz made a joke and put this same quote on her Twitter. So she says, ain't tripping, we can swap it out. Then she puts Quavo's name. Now I'm guessing Miss Crystal wasn't feeling this. So she says, the F you trying to swap out. Now, Jazz responds with a laughing emoji. So I'm not sure exactly what Jazz was trying to swap out there, but Crystal was not having it. So anyways, let's get on to this next topic with the Ace family. Now, if you guys have been keeping up with my previous videos on this whole topic, then you know, recently the Ace family home did go into foreclosure. Catherine and Austin did go on to YouTube to explain exactly why their house went up for foreclosure. You guys can check that out on their YouTube channel. Now, since then, both Austin and Catherine have came out and stated something on Instagram about the whole situation. So Catherine says, thank you guys for all the support in the last video means so much. Before I put this behind me, I'd like to share some other issues we had we didn't add in the video. I know I don't need to, but it's my choice. Hopefully it can help others who are home buyers or future home buyers. And no, I don't want anyone to feel bad for me. This is not about that. If it was, I would have shared all this years ago. And for those that are criticizing our decisions and blaming us for the issues, shame on you. People need to understand that this all started in 2018, four years ago, when I believed in people. I believed that people were good and honest. I believed that I was around good people, but we were taken advantage of. It caused me to move differently and change my trust due to life experiences. It was a learning lesson. Now then Austin comes and says, always remember we're human just like y'all. We go through tough times just like y'all. We have bad days just like y'all, but we choose not to share certain aspects of our life because that isn't what we're here to do. That isn't what our content is about. We've always kept it positive as we can be to bring positivity to y'all. 
Catherine and I made a promise to each other to help others by being a positive light in their lives through our content, not to talk about drama. I just hope you guys understand that this is the case with our home. We had to. We were forced to share our story because of how people tried to create their own narrative about our life. Have you noticed that we never create drama to monetize others, but others do it to us? Finally, glad to put this to rest. Thank you all for your understanding. We love you all. P.S. We'll be back on our Now, I want to know your opinions on this because in my last video, I seen a lot of people stating that it wasn't actually the builder's fault. It was actually the Ace family's fault because they tried to cut corners building a house with no codes, no permits, nothing like that, trying to save money. But I don't know. I'm not an expert in this field. So let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. I'm also going to share the videos that Catherine posted. So as always, I want to know your opinions on everything down in the comment section below. Pues de las de las pegaduras. Black and then so are all the other ones. So I don't know if you guys missed this. And then over there in the very sharp. Okay, this is in the kitchen. That's the pipe that it's um That's the pipe that it's um the joint